this is Max from Dynamic Data Script, and you're listening to the R Programming Channel. Today, we will talk about the summarize function from DeepIR. So, first thing to do is to load your data with the Iris dataset and then to load DeepIR with the function library. The summarize function is usually used to aggregate several rows into one. By aggregate, I mean to input several rows. Uh, so several values, and then applying a function to it to transform it into something that will give you only one output, only one number out. So a good example is a mean. So you want, you might want to summarize the mean of different columns, and then you would use the summarize function. As for all deep learning function, the first argument we give it is a data frame. And then in the summarize function, we will give it a column name. So let's go with uh, the mean, just as we talked. Let's go with the mean of sepal point length. And let's run that. And you will see that it only gives me one thing out and is the mean of the whole column. And let's save that into df1 to see it on the right so that you have some stats about the numbers of rows and the number of, of variables. So you see here one row run variable. The summarize function from dplyr is, is a lot like the mutate function from dplyr, but the summarize function reduces the number of rows, whereas the, the mutate function keep all the rows equal. The summarize function can take several arguments that will result into different columns. And so I can do a mean of sepal length. And then by separating with a comma, I can do a standard deviation of sepal length. And then I can run that. And you see that there are two columns with each uh, one value. So only one observation. I, I could save it into a variable. So if I do like that if i do the name of my column it saves it and then it changes the name so you saw it it, it shortened the name into a name that i chose now let's look at the effect of group by on a summarize function so if we do the group by so let's first apply the function group by and we will group it by species so this is plant species and then if we do this into df3 here the df3 contains three rows uh, with the different values of standard deviation if, and means for sepal length i'll show you right now i'll use a function called unique this is because the species column has three unique different uh, possible values and those are three species of iris and this is how you use the summarize function thanks for watching and see you next time